Good morning. It's Sunday, February 13th. Um, big game later today. I hope the actual game is better than the hype and the commercials. <laughs> it's always a disappointment when it's a disappointment. <clears throat> um, today I'm going to talk about something that uh, hit me rather recently. And that's um, how academia deals with ceramics. Now, I'm going to put this up again because it has some essays that are relevant if you happen to be <clears throat> a ceramic artist in academia or with the goal of being in academia. Um, there's a whole potentially another long talk about why ceramics is in the college and university system and vice versa. Um, I'm not proposing to get into that here. What triggered this was my alma mater, Grinnell College, has posted a tenure track position for specifically a sculptural ceramicist. None of that frou-frou round stuff. No, they want, they want art. Okay. So, as you can tell, I'm already a little pissed, and I do sculptures, but whatever. I'm glad they're filling the position. There was some danger that they were going to abandon that clay studio completely. <clears throat> and I've even, you know, over the years fantasized about retiring or, you know, somehow going back to Grinnell to, to teach where I first learned. I mean, there's a certain poetic quality to that. <clears throat> and then I started reading the uh, minimum qualifications. Okay, for many of you... You've learned your ceramics in other contexts, and you haven't dealt with the university system. But here we go. Okay, so minimum qualifications. So you have to have an MFA, Master of Fine Arts degree, which is 60 hours of graduate work. Um, some places that gets done in two years, some places that gets done in three. Um, they want someone who has taught a minimum of three years someplace else. Okay. So they're not willing to take a chance on someone right out of grad school. Okay, already they're being very conservative, very cautious. Uh, they also want you know, slides of your work, okay, or images of your work, okay, they want to see what your your approach to the problem is. They also want 20 slides of student work, or images of student work, which raises huge ethical issues. Um, the deadline is passed, so I'm not able to apply, but there was, there was one point very long ago where I approached students asking to take pictures of their pots and and it was, it was horrible i hated i hated the stress of it as the person asking i hated the stress that they were feeling being asked and and pressured because you know what do you tell your professor no plus i was teaching ceramics one and it's like well nobody makes anything impressive in ceramics one plus grinnell college is a liberal arts college and that they're not, they're not they're only accidentally sending people to, to graduate school in the arts. The, the real benefit of ceramics at that level is intellectual and emotional, and that doesn't going to show up in slides. Okay, so they, they want 20 slides of student work. They want your curriculum vita. Okay, that's perfectly normal for academia. But again, for people who aren't familiar, okay, a resume is the relevant stuff and generally no more than two pieces of paper. Okay, so you, you trim away stuff that's not relevant. You, you, you just you know keep all the stuff that's most relevant and sort of the high points. Um, curriculum vitae is everything. Every damn group show you ever were part of, every solo show, every job, every workshop you attended, every workshop you host, you know, you were the presenter for. Uh, we went to a, a workshop by um, Paul Soldner where 
he had a 40-page curriculum vitae available for us to look at. Okay, it's just, it's just an administrative nuisance. We didn't care. I mean, there's nothing about the 40 pages that we gave a damn about. He was just bludging in us with the length and, and weight of his career. And in fact, for the search committee, and I've been on a couple, they don't care either. There's nothing in that curriculum vitae that says, oh, look, Larry is the only person who was in all five of the Concordia Continental Clay competitions. Well, isn't that remarkable? No, they're not going to do that. They don't care. They're, they're, they're trying to trim all this bulk of stuff that mostly just serves to minimize the number of applicants in the first place. They're going to winnow all that down to like one sense identifier for each candidate and then work it out in person. You know, okay, what do we got here? Do you we think this person, as much as we hope for diversity, do we think this person is going to stay here for a 25 year career in a town of 10,000 people in the center of increasingly redneck Iowa? Now, we've got all these stumbling blocks. They're like, please, please apply, please. We, we want people from a variety of backgrounds and interests and so forth. But you have to fit through these narrow pipes to even get us to read your name. Yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed with my college and I'm disappointed with academia in general. And having said that, you know, if any of you are tempted to go become college teachers, God bless you. Just got to expect that there are these hoops you're going to have to jump through. These categories of paperwork you're going to have to do. These categories of photographs you're going to have to take. And they better be well taken. None of this shooting snaps on the lawn stuff anymore. They make it hard to do what you're hoping to do. And what they end up doing is rewarding the obedient. Let's hope the rest of the day goes better. <laughs> Take care.